Hey, what is going on, my fellow Sagittarius? This is Butch Cheryl here. Uh, first of all, happy birthday uh, to all y'all that had a birthday and have one coming up. Um, mine's the 18th. So excited about that, kind of getting older. <laughs> um, I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Um, always feel free to comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, don't. <laughs> One of those days. Anyway, I'm going to be using the tar uh, the Incromancy Tarot. Um, for all y'all that seen this before, um, you know maybe fast forward this. But anybody that hasn't seen this deck, it's it's amazing. Uh, it's the most unique deck I've ever seen, and I think it's the most unique deck that there is because every card was designed by a different tattoo artist. Uh, I love tattoos and I love tarot. Every card is different. There's no card that... It, it, it's like you take, you know... Every card is from a different deck of some sort. You know what I mean? Like, it's absolutely, incredibly unique. Uh, I love it. It was a gift that I got. And I try not to use it too much because I don't want to ruin it. Because I, I think it is limited edition. I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere. Yeah. The limited edition i think they made new ones now so i mean i feel like you can get more but this was the first print so with all that being said let's get it universe what do we have Right, Sagittarius. So the first thing I see is there is a connection around you. But with this person, you know, I, I, I feel like this person doesn't, they don't know what you want. You know, I feel like they know what they want. We have the two of wands. They know what they want from you. You know, I feel like this person wants, they want to be with you. But they don't know what you want, and I feel like that causes them a lot of anxiety, causing a lot of stress. You know, it's it, it's almost like they don't know what to do. You know, they feel like you're holding back from them. They feel a very defensive energy from you. You know, when things are going good, it's almost like they feel like you're. It's almost like a self a self sabotaging energy coming from you. You know, very defensive, uh, very on guard. You know, and I feel like this person wants to move forward, but then there's also a part of them that they're afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid of committing to someone that doesn't want to really be with them. You know, this person wants to know. You know, they don't want to commit without knowing what they're committing to. We got the five of swords. You know, they don't want to have any regrets. They don't, you know, they don't want to walk away. And regret not staying, but they all don't all. They also don't want to stay and regret not going. And it's a very complicated area that they're in. And like I said, it's causing them a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, because they can't see what's right in front of them. And I feel like sometimes we feel like we're giving people enough, but we're just not. You know, they can't see what's right in front of them. You know, I feel like, I feel like a part of a part of this person is is overthinking, but I feel like it's almost like they felt like chased by you. 
Like you really wanted them. You you went after them. And and it feels like that's that's gone away. You know, we have that that Aries energy in reverse, you know, that Queen of Wands, and then we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like this person's overthinking it to a point, but I feel like they they have a point. You know, part of it is a point. I, you know what I mean? I feel like they don't feel like you really committed. I feel like the commitment that that you've had with this person is more really immature and kind of like a very nonchalant way. You know, it's like you never really committed. You're with them, but never really committed. That's how they feel. You know, it's almost like you haven't really decided. It's like you're still on the fence a little bit with that that immature offer with that Knight of Cups. You know, and they're not feeling the strength of this connection. You know, they feel, I mean, we have the Lover's card. They know there, there could be more. <coughs> Excuse me. They know there should be more. You know, they feel more when they're around you, but they don't feel nurtured when they're around you, if that makes sense to you. You know, there's some moments when they feel like you really want to be with them. Um, but I feel like this one, this person needs consistency. They need something more consistent. And like I said, I do feel like they are overthinking a little bit. You know, I do feel like they are... Um, you know, sometimes when we're having issues with someone, sometimes little stupid things can add on to the issue and just you know it, it, if you look at it as a scale of stay or go and, and and when you have an issue with someone you put it on that that go side and it's like little things adding on to that are just kind of tipping the scales right now you know they don't feel nurtured they don't feel like you give to them as much as they give to you but it's very confusing because i feel like this person really isn't giving that much i ha i feel like they have a lot that they want to give you i feel like they have good intentions but I feel like it's almost like they're waiting for you to make the first move. You know, they, they just need to know. They need communication. This is so coinciding with the last read I did for Gemini, actually. Gemini and, and Gemini and Sagittarius. I don't know why they go together so well, but they do. Um, like I said, this person wants to be with you. But it's almost like they're not committing until they know what you want. You know, they're not... They're not jumping in. You know, they're kind of standing their ground with that seven of wands. It's almost like they're staying in there waiting. They want to know. Kind of, I got that Whitney Houston song in my head. They want to know if you really love them. I'm not going to sing because that's just... I like I like people watching. <laughs> if I start singing, I'm going to lose that. <laughs> You know, they want to be nurtured. They want to feel like you love them. They want, they want to feel like they're not in this alone. They want you to reach out and grab them and never let them go. That's the type of energy I feel here. But, like I said, it's like they're not giving you much to work with either. You know, it's like one is is waiting for the other shoe to drop, but nobody is, it, it, you know, it's not dropping. But like I said, I feel like there needs to be an open, honest communication between the two of you. If this has any chance of moving forward. And I feel like if you do that, you know, you open up, you be honest. You know, stop looking at the negatives instead of the positives. You know, I, I, I feel like there is a sense that there is balance to be had. You know, I, but we got to take that leap of faith. You know, we got to trust how we feel. If you want to be with this person, tell them that you want to be with them because they want to know. And I feel like if that happens, I, you know, I, I feel like that that is going to be the catalyst that changes this from something very light and immature, you know, something very basic to something extraordinary. But we have to be willing to risk. You know, it just reminds me of somebody being at a poker table and having great hands but just not willing to bet on them. I feel like, like I said, I feel like they did feel like you, you chased them before, but it's almost like now is it just feels like you, you just kind of slipped off. But their idea of, re, you know, retaliating is not helping you guys either. I mean, I feel like they're retaliating by not doing anything. They're just standing there waiting for you to say something. 
But I feel like if you want this to move forward, you need to say what you need to say. You know, let's get this ball moving again. With that world card. You know, I feel like... I feel like it's a poor judgment on both both sides a little bit. I feel like we both need a little bit of the blame here. Um, you know, I'm not going to blame you. I'm not blaming them. Um, but I'm saying, you know, the reason why we're at the place that we're at is because, you know, I feel like we both played a part in it. I don't want to say we. I'm not, I'm not there. But like I said, I feel like if you take the chance, you take the risk, it, it's going to be worth, you know, the reward's going to be worth it. You know, I see a lot of happiness, a lot of emotional fulfillment, but we have to be willing to put it on the line. That's one thing that a lot of people miss when it comes to relationships. 100%. I missed it when I first started. You know, when me and Rose first got together for a long time, I was very distant. You know, I was always afraid of giving too much because then you put yourself in a very awkward situation where you're vulnerable. And I don't like being vulnerable. I grew up in a very unloving household um it's not so much unloving i don't want to say that that's just that just seems like emotional damage um we just didn't talk about it uh, my dad was very unloving um he was very strict um you know i was the youngest of of three kids uh, my brother and sister is 10 12 years older than me so i was very young um and I mean, I went through, I seen a lot of shit. Like my parents broke up when I was like three months old. Um, this sounds like a really terrible story. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, they broke up very young. So I, I, I kind of grew up in the turmoil and it was almost like they didn't have any love to share anymore. Um, my mom always took care of me. She's a great mom. I love her to death. Still talk to her every day and, you know, see her all the time. I have a very strong relationship with my mother, but it was never a loving relationship. You know, there was a nurturing side of it, but we don't, we didn't say we loved each other. You know, nobody says that in our family. And, and when it comes to my family, we weren't very close. So, you know, sometimes people are like that. Sometimes we, we have this damage or at least we have this outlook on, you know, not sharing ourselves. So when it comes time to share ourselves with somebody, somebody expects us to share it, it takes a little bit longer. You know, some people grow up very loving and, and, and find it very easy to be open, very easy to be vulnerable. But sometimes when we fight for ourselves for so long, we become very um, guarded and it's hard to break those walls down. But with this person, you know, we have... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Um, yeah, but that's, it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes we, we all grow up different, and that's the thing we got to remember in a relationship. You know, some people give up way too early on relationships. You know, you feel something special, go for it. You know, sometimes it's going to take a little bit of work. You know, it all reminds me of, like, when you watch those house shows, you know, where people buy a house and they fix it up and, you know, it, it, it's so much different than the moment they, they've seen it. But they've seen something in it. And if you see something in someone, you know, I, I mean, you, you have to decide for yourself whether it's worth your effort. You know, sometimes we see something in somebody and if they don't see it, you know, you may never get that full potential from that person, but... If you really feel something for someone, you know, put everything you have into it. Because if you don't, you're going to regret it. Now, I'm not saying you should stick with somebody that doesn't treat you well, that doesn't take care of you, you know, but sometimes we see something in some people and we don't see it all. A lot of people are very guarded in the beginning of a relationship. You know, they're not, you know, some people are very open. The first day, you, first day, you can know everything about that person. But then there's some people... Where you could be with them for years and not completely know them yet. So it makes it harder to see if that person really meant for you if you don't really know them. So the best thing to do is be transparent. It's, you know, learn from me. You know, me and Rose for a long time, we had a very different relationship because I found it hard to communicate. And she likes to communicate, you know.
you know, I feel, I felt very, you know, being with someone is a very vulnerable place. You know, it's very vulnerable. But if you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable with the person that matters the most to you, there's an issue. That's something you need to work on. Now, if you're with someone and you don't feel like that connection and you don't want to open up to them, then you might be with the wrong person. That's just my two cents. As we all know, it's getting closer to Christmas. Um, you know, anybody that celebrates Christmas or Hanukkah or uh, Saturnalia, you know, whatever it is that you celebrate, I hope you, you know, you have a great time. I hope you surround yourself with people that love you and that you love. I hope you stay safe. I hope you're healthy. So Merry Christmas to from me to you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.